Right. All right, ladies, uh, just talk about for each of you, starting with you, Chloe, what got you to UCF? Um, what got me to UCF was just the atmosphere and the coaching staff and just like a new environment and a new place with obviously a whole bunch of new people and I saw what they did last year and I, I mean I played against UCF last year at my previous school so that was something that I like I enjoyed being here when I was here last year and I just thought like it might be a good fit for me just like what Coach Bear's like vision was for the team and just like what the team wanted outside of like going to the World Series and like being good teammates, um, doing things together, like that was just something that was really big for me. Um, honestly, just I really thought that Coach Bear could make me become the most durable and competitive version of myself as a pitcher and as an outfielder as well, and giving me the opportunity to play both too. And just coming for the family culture and being able to compete with a new set of people that I really love to call my family now. How would you describe each other as far as what kind of player you are? Starting with you, Sarah. How would you describe the, your your style of play? Um, I would say that. I like on the mound I'm pretty serious but then like when I'm in the outfield you see me like goofing around and dancing and dancing with Chloe and talking to Chloe or um, Johnisha so just an all around competitive person playing with a chip on my shoulder this year to compete. What about you? Um, I feel like I'm someone that plays with like a lot of like IQ. I feel like I think a lot of things like when I'm up to bat thinking about like the best way to get on base things like that. Um, a lot in the outfield of just like thinking a lot before the play happens. I think I would also say I'm pretty competitive, so that's something that helps me do stuff like that and like see the field more than like other people might just because I've been playing for a long time. So I would just say like I like to cause chaos in the game. What drives the two of you to play this sport? Um, I've enjoyed it my whole life, and I think it's been a part. It's been a thing that like me and my dad have loved my whole life, and that's something that like I'll I'll always take. I'll like I'll always have in my heart is just like how much my dad loves to come watch me because he'll be at every single game this year. So I think just like having him and having my family and just like being able to see all the people that like enjoy watching me play. That's something that. I love to go home and like hear people how proud they are of me so that's something that I just have always loved. I really just have loved the game of softball since I was younger and just obviously like I said just becoming the woman that I am today and just becoming the competitive and durable version and I think that if I didn't play softball like I don't I would be such a different person so just really growing up within this sport and the people that I've met and the memories that I've made like it's just been the best part of my life. Now, Chloe, you played here last year against UCF, yep. and I know that impressed Coach Bear. You impressed her. So, what do you remember about playing UCF last year here? Um, honestly, I just remember being a really good atmosphere, and I remember it being a really competitive game. I know they had really good pitching last year, so that was something that we prepared for a lot coming into obviously being playing for the first time that last year was here. So it was just like being here and just like seeing what the school had and just like what they had offered. They had a lot of fans. I liked the fan base when I was here. Um, I actually made friends in right field that I now know that I'm here now. So it's actually really funny knowing that like I previously was here and I had a good time and I just think that like watching the team just I knew that I wanted to be a part of something like that. Sarah, you made some friends on fall ball there. Uh, people still talk Talk about that home run against Florida in a packed house there. What uh, What's it been like for you to kind of get used to being in Florida? I mean, I've played out here the past two summers in Bradenton in the summer league, so I honestly got used to the weather, and honestly, the people out here are great, so just coming out to Florida is a, obviously a weather change for me, but it's honestly great, and the people are also an awesome family culture, and I'm just happy to be here and excited to play. Sarah, I was talking with Jada a little bit ago, and she talked about how she wanted to be an inspiration for African American girls playing softball, so what has it been, what's it been like to play with her, someone like her, especially since, with her experiences with Team USA? I mean, just getting to play with Jada, she's an awesome player we played together when we were younger so I've known her since we've been growing up and I just want to be an inspiration to people younger like me and just make the game grow bigger you both good dancers who's the better dancer <laughs> where, where did the dancing come from in the outfits? I've noticed that. Where, 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 where did that come from? Um, I feel like it's just a mix of just our two personalities and like we're roommates so I think just like 
things that we do in our room and like outside just always carries over here. Yeah. I didn't know you two were roommates. Okay, that's good. Now you've gone to a lot of UCF sporting events. I have. You went to a lot of football games. Go to every football game or how many? Almost everyone. I missed two. Which ones you missed? Um, ECU and the first Tulane game. So what 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 is it about it that's embraced you? That you you've gone to basketball games, all the sports. I see everywhere. What was it that you've embraced it? Um, I just think that like. Obviously, at my previous school, something that I enjoyed was when other sports were able to come watch us. And I know that, like, being up north, it was very cold, so it was, like, not always enjoyable for people to come. But, like, it was, like, it was really good to see, like, the community growing and, like, not just being just softball. And we also live with the women's basketball players. So we have two women basketball players um, as roommates, and they made it to two or three of our games in the fall. And I think that that's just something that's super important. Like, we love them so much, and I think that like showing our support to them is super like important just that they know that we're here and we enjoy watching them like we love seeing their success and we hope that they love seeing our success so we just see yeah, i bring brought in a new hitting coach just coach Sol Soling. and so what has it been like working with her this season this season so I previously knew Coach Jen from Washington, so just getting to know her even better here and getting to learn from her has been an awesome experience and getting to better my hitting. Um, and she's just a great light to have here. She's super positive and she just wants to make everybody better and take us to the top. Right. Tell me about Jazz, your other. Uh... Oh, how you, how you bonded with her? Oh, we love jazz. <laughs> Mama jazz. <laughs> um, we, I love playing with jazz. I mean, obviously when I play left field more than right field, I get to talk to her a lot and have those conversations. Um, she's really competitive. I think that she's someone that like pushes everyone and is always in a really light mood and just kind of like helps the team go. What's it like being teammates with Jada Cody? Oh, we love Jada too. Love being also when I'm on the left side of the field. It's also just like a lot of talk with Jada. Um, I've hit behind her a lot in the fall, so I think it's just like those little moments where it's like just knowing that like someone's gonna like have success in front of you, and you just hope that you have success behind them. It's, it's really yeah, playing with Jada is an awesome experience, and I just want to get to play behind her more. I also play left field sometimes. Me and Chloe be switching from right to left. So when I'm in left, then I'm talking to Jada and talking to Jazz too, and just um, they keep me hyped up. I keep them hyped up, and just having a great time always. What is the biggest difference that you want to see from this team by the end of the season? How do you want like want like January or February 2023 UCF softball to be to differ from the, the softball team that will see near the end of the season? Um, I just hope that at the end of the day, uh, no matter where we end up, no matter how far we go, I just hope that everyone can say that they had no fear the whole season and that they gave their all the whole entire time. Like, I think just having that confidence in everyone and just, like, seeing the team continue to grow and, like, people playing their positions when they need to and, like, always stepping up, that's always super big. So I think just, like, continuing to see people having no regrets and going all out all the time. Yeah, and just growing throughout the season, I mean, doing the little things right to get us where we need to go and where we need to be and like every single situation I think if we can just stay healthy as a team we can get as far as we want to go with the goals that we want to do awesome well, good luck this season ladies thank you